Hi guys, Stephen Box here, Physique Elite Trainer. We're here at Britain's Farm. Uh, today we're going to be making some protein chocolate choc ices. Okay, so the first ingredients that we've got here is 75 ml of unsweetened almond butter. We've got 30 grams of desiccated coconut. You could use coconut flour as well. We've got 100 grams of pitted chopped dates. Um, we're going to use 20 grams of um, peanut butter, that's 100% peanut butter, and then 40 grams of 90% lint chocolate. Uh, the other the final ingredients, we're going to be using um, 60 grams of whey protein. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your chocolate melting. Okay, The easiest way to do that, get a, um, a pan, get some water, boil, and then just pop a glass bowl over the top with that, let that melt. Uh, leave that for a few minutes and that will be ready to go. Next ingredient, Okay, so the 30 grams of the desiccated coconut just goes into a mixing bowl. Add in the dates. Add in the uh, 60 grams of protein. For this size. So that's 60 grams, three scoops. And then 20 grams, which is about just over a dessert spoon peanut butter, you can weigh this out more accurately. Now we want to get this into a thick paste. Okay, and slowly add in the almond milk. You might not need it all, so just sort of keep going until you get a nice sticky texture. And what I've also done here is I've prepared my, pad, um, my tray, and I've just lined that with cling film. It means no mess, so when we come to put it in the freezer, it will just pop straight out after. You don't need to worry about greasing it or anything like that. Just stick, it, stick some cling film around that and good to go. So the mixture is getting sticky enough that it's sort of all holding together well. Now the tip here, we're going to need to put that in, in the tray. What you're going to have to do, just dip your fingers in the almond milk, okay? And that just helps it not stick to your fingers and stick together instead. Okay, so layer that in. On a nice even spread. Again, just use a little bit of the almond milk just to keep that nice and moist on the top. Now you can do this just before you go to the gym and it will take you five, 10 minutes to prepare. And once it's prepared, you can go to the gym, you're gonna chuck it in the freezer and then once you get back, it'll be ready. Um, and just leave it to thaw for maybe 10 minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so once you've got that smooth texture, okay, on goes the chocolate. Okay, you just wanna drizzle this on any way you like. I'm gonna get as much of that chocolate on as possible. Great taste, I can smell it already, fantastic. I'm not too worried about the decoration. Let me just cover that round a little bit. Nice even spread. And now I'll be ready to pop in the freezer. Okay, so we've left the choc ice for 30 minutes in the freezer, or if you've gone training, that's put it in before you go. When you come back, let it thaw for about 10 minutes, and it'll just be nice, soft and gooey. You can always keep it in the refrigerator um, just to keep it nice and cool. So the cling film, it will pop out really, really easy, and I broke this into two portions, um, so you can always save some for the next day or later on. Um, one slice. You're looking at about 570 calories, about 30 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, and 45 grams of carbohydrates. Um, and that's obviously a mix of sugars um, from the dates in there. So it's fantastic post-workout. You get enough amino acids, um, and obviously the carbohydrate source to you know, replenish glycogen.